Well, before we can do our spin test or our installation or any other work on the bottom bracket of this bike, we need to get the chain out of the way. And I'm gonna show you some quick strategies on how to handle it, no matter what kind of chain you have. All right, the first strategy is if you have a Shimano type chain or any chain that is pinned, you don't wanna to have to remove the pin uh, because then you're gonna to have to have another one on hand and it's unnecessary to take it apart. So we're gonna go like this. I'm just going to push the rear derailleur down and I'm going to reach forward. Now the tension is off the chain and I'm gonna bring it around the pedal and the crank arm and now I have the chain out here like so. And then I'm just going to loop it up and over the derailleur and let it sit just like that and then let the tension off the rear derailleur. And once that is done, now as you can tell, the crank spins freely. All right, strategy two has to do with any chain that has a quick link. That would be a KMC or a SRAM and several other on the market such as Whipperman. I'll show you how to do that right now. And you don't need any special tools. All you need is a pair of pliers with a, uh, with a slip joint. Let's see how this works. So even if your chain has a master link like this or a slip link, quick link, whatever they want to call it, it's a link like this that slides together, you still need to loop it like you do if it was a Shimano style or a pin style chain like Campy and whatnot. So get to this point so you've got no tension on it and that's when you can come in here with your pliers and from experience I know I can adjust them right about that and you're just going to form kind of a Z just like that. What I'm doing is I want to get the pliers on the back end of this plate, which is the one that's pinned rather than the one where the slide is, and that's where I want to get the lower jaw here. And then what I want to do is I want to get the upper jaw on the opposite side, just like that. And then I can push them and it snaps them apart very easily. And now I can remove the chain. But not so fast. Don't just go taking it off because I can tell you from experience that a chain with some miles on it, as you can see from my hands, this is not some pristine bike we just dragged in off of the bike rack. This thing's got miles on it. We want to take this chain that's still good. It's got about 1,500 miles on it. Still got some life left. We have to mark it. Here's how I choose to mark it. I use a zip tie and I come through the top, all right, and I zip tie it so that the zip tie is oriented with the block piece, the lock facing out, okay? And looping up and over what is the top of the chain when it's installed. This way I know how to orient it that need, the chain needs to flow this direction with this set of plates facing out. And this will avoid some serious shifting problems that can happen from you putting a chain on backwards. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to find all of our videos where you will see installation tips and helps and introductions to new products. Follow us on social media outlets, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Don't forget to like us. And best thing of all, go to bbinfinite.com. You will see all of our greatest propaganda about all the greatest products in the world. Check us out.